Today I'm going to demonstrate some improvements we've made to the debugger's exception analysis with Copilot feature in Visual Studio. To start, I have a solution open and I've run into an exception. I've been doing some development in VS and I'm working on persisting options for some new features, and I've noticed that it's not working. So I've run into this exception and I'm not really sure what's going on, other than the call to say package user options seems to be failing. To start, let's run through the automated analysis. I haven't enabled our new features yet, so we can see what it looks like in the current state. Let's start the analysis and let Copilot start thinking. This will go through and use many of the tools it already has, like accessing files, evaluating variables, or checking the debug output to come up with some idea of what might be wrong. Now, we can see that this is providing us with some ideas of what to look at, but it's not providing an exact solution. We'd need to do a little bit more investigation to figure out what the root cause could be. We could continue in this conversation, but I'm going to change options now to show the new features would allow us to do. We go to our options for Visual Studio, and we can enable this, which would be on by default, but was offered as demo, and we can turn on our new feature, which allows adding repo context to the exception analysis, and if we rerun the analysis now, we can see what differences we get. While this runs, I'll note that what this is going to end up doing is looking at the repo we currently have open and use that as a way to search for existing bugs, issues, pull requests, and incorporate them into the context of what we use to analyze this exception. So this will run through, it'll ask permission to ask for a access ADO content, and it will start looking for anything relevant. It's decided it wants to ask with different search terms, so I'm going to always allow so it doesn't need to ask again. Now it's come to a conclusion, and we can see that it's giving a very different answer. We can see it's provided some specific information about what this H result is and what the likely problem is. Our name seems to be too long, and if we look closely, we can see it's referencing some bugs that have data about this. We can also use those to find more information about what other folks have run into and how they've fixed this or similar issues.